Well, that was a good. <laughs> okay, so um, when we last left, you guys had. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> I didn't put the vampire on. Uh, when we last, uh, you guys had just cleared out that that uh, owlbear nest um, and had come back to Fort Thorn. Um, you said you wanted to try to sell off. The owlbear cubs, yeah. Yeah. Well, no one wants them. Um, Roast owlbear cub, great. Owlbear babies. Get in my belly. Okay. Now you can probably... Okay. They're, uh, you're fortunate. When you return to Fort Thorn, you um, get back midday. Uh, there is a caravan. Uh, at the at the fort that's you know on their on their way through, um, so if you want you can approach you can approach a merchant about that. Sure. All right. Who's the best negotiator here? Probably uh, Darno. Oh dear, that well, is a like really. Dumb. Higher situation then. Diplomacy or bluff or something like that. No, I've got I've got eleven, eleven as my bonus for uh, diplomacy. Somehow, why do I have eleven? Okay, yeah, that's a class skill. Getting it together. And I've got my hat of disguise. Why do you have your hat of disguise? I don't know. I feel like I should bring it up in every situation though. Okay, so what do you want me to propose here? All right, so this guy's uh, some of you say is or you know you you go into town, you see somebody that you you know one of the workers who might be wandering through, and he points you in the direction of a guy named Sherwin Archer, who uh, who is in the sort of the the, the the guild house. He's like, yeah, go go talk to Sherwin Archer. Uh, he might be able to. He might be interested in buying those things. And uh, so sure enough, you, you do some asking around and you come across this archer fellow. Um, that's his name, not his, uh, not his occupation. And uh, sort of checks you out and as you approach him and he says, uh, so what can I do for you? Well, hmm. uh, uh, we've got these owlbear cubs. Are they alive? Yes. Are these owlbear cubs? Just like in cages? Um, sure. <laughs> Trust up in a sack at the moment, but... <laughs> We're just leading them by the hand. The <laughs> by wing. the beak. No wings, just beak. And where are we going, Papa? Who are you selling? Are you, don't, you're not selling me to that man, are you, Papa? <laughs> See, that's what the duct tape on the beak is for. Yeah. I feel bad for these owlbears. They're, perfect, they're perfectly trainable and make good pets. I'm sure. So, so uh, what delicious. do you want me to do? What do you want me to do with them? Well, I was told that you'd be the person to, who'd be interested in them. Um, hmm. Would you care to take them off my hands? Uh, well, they are. They do look uh, healthy and uh, good size. Probably we're heading, uh, we're heading westbound. We might be able to fetch a decent price for them in Corvosa once we get there. Um, I'd be willing to take them off your hand for, uh, I'd say, 500 gold apiece. 500 gold apiece? We, uh, we, we, we know on the open market they're worth about three. Hey, do you say this? No, no. I'm t this is out of character. Cause okay. You could just say, uh, you could just pull them aside. We know on the open market they're worth about 3,000. I doubt we're going to get that here, but 500 is way low. Okay, so... This is highway robbery. Yes. So, what, what, 
We should, <laughs> we, should, we, should be looking at nine, we should be looking at 9,000. He's offered 1,500 for the three of them. All right, well, how do I roll diplomacy here? How, how would I do that? Uh, well, with your character sheet open, you go to your skills, find diplomacy in the list, and then way over on the one side, you'll see where it says total plus eight. Click on that. I think it's a double click, isn't it? Yeah, it is double click. Yeah, okay, so um, where diplomacy is listed under your skills, way over on the right-hand side, double-click on the plus eight. See the little die symbol next to the, next to the field? That means it's, it's active, it's rollable. Right. Okay, this is actually a class skill for me, so my bonus is 11. Oh, so yeah, you need to give him a plus three there, so. Under miscellaneous? Yeah, well, you, uh, yeah, under miscellaneous it'll be a... Uh... Okay, there you go. Okay, so I just roll that. Okay. Yep, and you got you a 19. Go. So I, I tell him, uh, I guess, that... <laughs> shit, I wish I hadn't told him that we wanted to get rid of these. Um, hmm. well, start, um, start up at 10,000, see where he goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know they're worth we'll nine. These babies are worth at least ten thousand each. No, no, total. Total. <laughs> each. Each. And they're worth three <laughs> each. Ten thousand. Ten thousand. I could almost buy my own ship for that. No, wait, wrong game. Are you kidding? <laughs> Have you seen the arms on this sucker? Ten thousand. Lift you... up one of the owl bears. Oh, yeah. must... look impressive. <laughs> Look at this. Look at these feathers. Look at these claws. Um, it was 10,000. I was not born yesterday, my friend. I'll give you two total. And you, you should be kidding? lucky. You could sell this as e either a bird or a bear. Perfectly trainable. Right age. Hmm. Um, tell you what, I l you're let's, just, let's just move this on. You're an honest-looking individual, and I like your face. <laughs> I'll give you, I'll give you fifteen hundred uh, for each one of them. Each one of them. All right, for, that, that uh, sounds reasonable. Tell them to make it. Tell them to make it five thousand total. He's got a deal. All right then. All right. All right. It's a deal. That's wonderful. I try not to listen to their, their helpless sounds as they get herded off into like a cage or whatever. <laughs> yeah. They grow up to be real ugly, don't worry. Yeah, we've uh, run into the grown ups, which is how we got the babies. Okay, so right, you uh, you sell the owl bears, and you talk to uh, Captain Tolgren, Tolgrith, sorry about uh, about the, uh, the the outing to the owl bear cave, and he's thrilled that you took care of them. Um, and uh, he asks, is there, any, "Is there anything that you need?" Uh, Equipment-wise, there's a lot more work that uh, he'd like help with. That includes searching at resources. Oh, that reminds me. Um, it's coming up time to check out the river, isn't it? Yeah. Did you want to do that one tonight, Rob, or do you want to wait for that until uh, uh, till a little later? Uh, well, checking out the river is the next thing on the... Uh, on the list? On the list. Uh, actually, what I'm going to get you to do, uh, Arthur... Is if you you should have an icon up at the top that looks like a, I guess it'd be up in the top right. Um, if you hover over them, the one that says that's called tables. Do you have access to tables? Uh, uh, it looks like sorry, a, where is it? a little star or with a little um, 
a little seal or something like that icon. Looks like a bunch of lines with a, with a dot in the lower right hand corner. Does anyone else see those? What's that? Tables? tables? Tables. No, tables are you. Okay. No, I'm not seeing tables. Shoot. You just put up this resource table or something like that. You shared something here. Rob. Oh, okay. So you, do you guys see what's on the screen right now? I do. Yeah. Uh, I did, but I closed it. Okay, that's is fine. Is it an image no, and map? Is, this is for Arthur. Um, see the, do you see the die icon in the, in the, on that screen where it says resources? Yeah. Click that once. All right, so because the other guys were out looking for... Um, Try again. Copper. No, no, leave it like that. You, got, you guys went out looking for resources while the other guys were looking out, looking out, out killing owl bears. Um, and while you and Whizbang were out looking for resources, you came across a a, uh, a, uh, a vein of copper in the hills. So if I can get you to roll 66, so what okay. you can do there is right-click on the on the D6 icon. Got it. Okay. So you found 15,000 copper pieces worth of copper. It's 150 gold. Yeah. So you you are given 150 gold for the uh, for the uh, copper that you found. Ha! Huh. We made 5,000 and some loot. Yeah, it probably cost like as much gold to haul all that copper. No, no, you don't. You didn't haul it. You just found it and told the oh, told okay. the fort where it is, and they for your find they gave you it's a finder's fee, 150 gold pieces. Um, so the captain reminds you that the next day, um, let me just double check. I'm going to open up the calendar here and take a look. Are we going to worry about reloading equipment, like arrows and stuff like that? Uh, I'm sure you can get them here. Yeah, you can get them here. I, um, I'm not really concerned about, you know, the. We haven't system. really been tracking. We've just been sort of saying, you know, take so much off we're, at. We're like. To reload. Well, I'm sure you can lean on the captain for some arrows in exchange for killing some owl bears and nothing else. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm sure your character knows how to make arrows, and we are in the woods. Yeah. I don't know. That's true. It's a time thing, but I mean, Dad, I wouldn't. I'm not worried about too much about that sort of stuff. I'm assuming that we're gonna be, you know, you know, things like things like food and food and basic supplies and whatnot. We're gonna be leaning on them for in exchange for some services here. So it is currently the. I uh, um. He brings out a, a calendar to show you, and he shows that it's currently the fifth day of the month. Um, it's the eighth or something. Things it's like the that. eighth of the month where the uh, the water normally is polluted. Uh, he's also he he's quite also quite uh, happy that uh, the next day, the sixth, he's planning that the uh, the bridge over the Cold Run River um, is going to be finished, uh, so they can start. Um, they can That's start the Western River. Uh, let me check. Let me check. I think it is. That the one nearest the fort or the one farthest from the fort? I'm just checking. Uh, that's actually the one nearest. Nearest yeah, the fort? That's, that's the oh. one nearest to the Oh, no, sorry. That's the one further. That's the further one. Okay, so the Eastern River. Yep. The Petal River is the one closer to the fort. The Cold Run is further away. Which is the one that dries up? Uh, the one, the one that oh, fouls funny. is the is the Petal River. Okay, so the near one. Yeah, yeah. And from what I can understand, uh, the um, the rivers are actually flowing northward. No, that from that make, lake. No, that that would make no sense at all. I know, but that's the way this is written. <laughs> okay, so they're flowing uphill into the mountains. Well, there's mountains to the south too. No, but, you, but there, there seems to be a, a pass through there that the lake is draining to. All right, let's find the wizard at the top of it then, or at the bottom of it, I guess. Well, let me because they say that 
you know, every year the uh, every every month the uh, the water fouls in the Petal River. Yeah. Um, and let me just say, find out where it's talked about the you know searching out the source. Because you know it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but that's just the way the game is written. But it could just be a poorly. Written. You can change it, I guess. Lakes have one outflow, not two. Yes, I understand that. Well, this is two inflows, isn't it? That's fine. It should be if the rivers are running south. But Well, this is a hell of a foul river, then. Well, that's what it looks like to me, the stuff from the north. It should be flowing south in the lake and then draining south through that pass in the mountains. The big yeah. gorge shown there through the mountains. That's how I would understand it. Yeah. Just looking at the map. Yep. Well, you know what? It does say that the game, the the way this is written, uh, it means that. Well, you know what? Um, you're just gonna have to go check it out. The water does the the water does flow uh, north to south through the vale through the vale. Okay, uh, that that's, that's, that makes sense. It's flowing south. Right. So you're just gonna have to figure out what's going on. Because there's some strange things. Okay, about. so it's happening. But that's not for that's not for a couple of days. But uh, it's happening upstream of the fort. It's happening, yeah, essentially. The so entire from what the from what he can say, the entire the entire river runs afoul. They can't pull water out of it, fresh water for drinking or anything. Um, okay, so they do have wells in the fort, but uh, a good number of water gets trucked in because the wells are not particularly efficient. Um, uh, a fair bit of water gets trucked in in, in big barrels that are uh, that are brought into the fort from the river by horse. So, okay, well, we should head up. We should head upstream then and see if that's see what we can find out. Are you going to head out immediately? Um, it's the currently the fifth. It's the eighth of the month when it when they when it's when it starts. Well, let's let's head out in the morning. Let's head out in the morning on the sixth. Now we we can be a good ways north. Okay. When things happen. That makes sense to me. All right. So we'll we'll get what we'll, we'll get what we can um, from some for supplies and you know supplies and tents and whatever. <coughs> oh. All right. I'm opening up. The veil, the veil map. Yeah, it's still available to me. I just, I just brought it up. Yep. Okay, so you, uh, you're traveling, uh, you're traveling north from the fort along the river. Mm -hmm. um, it, it only takes you. It doesn't take you that long to get really close to the north end of the Vale. Um, well, I can't even read that. Slow. <laughs> so uh, slow. <laughs> um, and you know, by you know, you head out early. By midday, you're 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 nearing the uh, the north end of the. Uh, the north end of the the map, or the map, the veil, and uh, nothing out of the order, nothing really out of the ordinary. But what I am gonna do Okay. Give me 
me a moment. That's nice. I can, you can minimize maps to a little token. Yes. You right click on them and choose minimize. Yeah. I actually figured out if you make it smaller, you can grab that uh, square down in the bottom right hand corner. Yeah, and scroll. Yeah, scroll. I hadn't figured that part out before. Hey, give me one second, please, guys. Ah, keep hitting the wrong button. Trying to move too fast, and uh... you also need to add Derno to the party. He's not in it. Oh, thank you. Done. All right, sorry about that. I just needed to get something organized. You have been traveling north of the river for a better part of the day, um, and you're you're in a clearing, uh, and I need you all to give me a perception check, please. So to do that, um, Arthur, on the main on the main tab of your character sheet, you'll see uh, down low, you'll see a, a little die icon with percept written above it. Yeah, just single click the die. Right. Ooh, look, an eagle. <laughs> okay, well, um, Naladrin and uh, Dax. Spot it first, they call it out, and uh, I'm going to, do you guys, uh, you should see this map now. Battle map 005. Oh, no, not that one. It's loading. Yeah. See this loading grid? Ooh, look, it's a lovely field with a lovely rock. And some shrubs. Hey, watch for spoilers. Some of us haven't loaded yet. There we go. There's a shrubbery. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to put you guys here on, the, uh, on the map here. Oh, a big giant. Dirno gets to be a vampire. Because he doesn't complain about everything. <laughs> the way you do, Darcy. When is he going to be in the way? Okay, and I'm going to lock tokens so you guys can stop moving them around, being jerks. Okay, uh, so yeah, off the, uh, off the trail, um, Feasting on what looks to be a pile of, you don't know what, maybe a, it's a dead animal or something. Well, damn it, 
that should be our food. Is a large shambling mound. Quick, fire a lightning bolt. A large shambling mound? Mound. A mass of tangled vines and dripping slime rises on two trunk-like legs, reeking of rot and freshly turned earth. Mm, freshly turned earth. They appear, of heap, appear to be heaps of rotting vegetables. They are actually carnivorous plants with a fondness for elf flesh in particular. <laughs> so, <laughs> needless to say, it seems if elf yes! goes straight Not me. He's like, you guys are okay. I want him. <laughs> so uh, the next thing I'd like you guys to do is roll initiative. Wonderful. Do you see that on your character sheet? Uh, yes, I do. I think it's, I do. Did you did that roll? That didn't roll. Yeah, you got to double click that one. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, so the next thing you can do, Arthur, is you'll see an icon with two cross swords in the top right. Click that. That'll open up the combat tracker. And you'll see everyone listed. Oh, cool. All right. While you're at it, we look so much happier. While you're at it, click on the shambling mound icon there so, it, so it's your target that'll make your life easier later. See the auras that are appearing around it? If you yeah. click on it, it'll add your blue. It should add your blue to it. There you go. So you've all gotten targeted. So it uh, it's already sort of turned. Oh, hang on a second. Always. Hang on a second. Dang it. All right. Um, sorry, I got to do those initiatives again. I'm going to hand enter them. What's the matter? Oh, I had to reset the rounds on the combat tracker. Oh, we can roll um, initiative again. No, no. I, I, I still see them on the screen here, so I just entered them in. <laughs> I I Darcy, I took care of it for you. Go ahead, have your roll. Yeah, no worries. No, I know you could, but I'm not going to let you. Me? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, fire up that lightning bolt. Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> No? Bueller? Okay. Uh, Dax, it is... Of nature or something? Your turn, Dax. Oh, okay. It's, it's turned and it is sort of... It's sort of snuffled in your direction and it started moving towards you. Okay. I need... It's actually there that I need to... So it's about 85 feet away. Yeah, this is good for 560, so... But how come it's not launching? No, because you clicked on the... You didn't click on the cast. You clicked... Have, have you got your spells... Actually, You have to choose your spells beforehand, right? So yeah, I got them prepared. Closer. Okay, well, the cast button is the little, is the little die icon, not the red icon. The red icon is the... Okay. So, yeah. Click on the, the die icon next to the red icon. It's uh, not doing anything. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. So, uh, so that's partial. He successfully saved. Out of five, but I don't know what a partial save against an entangle attack does. Uh, 
uh, yeah, cre creatures that uh, make their save can move as normal, but those remain in the area must save again at the end of your turn. So that's a 40-foot radius spread, so you need to mark that, uh, drop that pointer wherever you put the uh, entangle. Okay, so it's a 40-foot radius spread? Yeah, so yeah, just draw, put a go put a pointer on with 40-foot radius. Oh, okay. Here's a tip, don't center it on it. Center it between us, that way he has to go through all of it. Yeah, I was putting it slightly ahead of it. Uh, pointer, draw a circle. Is that 40? I don't know. Uh, it's every five, see. right? If you click and drag, it will tell you the this distance. That's 25. Okay, that's 20. Do you want me to... Here, I'll delete that. You want to make a new one? That's okay, 35. There's that's 40. 40. Yeah. So can you set it closer to us? How about how about putting it here? Yeah, that yeah that's where I was, I was. I was thinking here. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's I was actually putting it. It there. specifies. It specifies only foes are entangled. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's get a gentle caress. All right, Jerno, it's your turn. All right, uh, I'm going to take out my crossbow because my current vestige is useless against this thing, probably. Awesome. Because it looks like a big pile of plants. And I'm going to take a shot at it. So, where's my thing again? Okay, actually, how, how will I... Uh, uh, well, you can do all. You can how, do how this right work? from. Uh, let's see here. If you go to your character sheet, mm -hmm. and bring up your weapons, your actions tab, and see your weapons. If you're going to use your light crossbow, I think. You go. Yeah, if you go to uh, yeah actions. Just uh, where it says attacks, just double click on that. Just, just like that, right? Nice, and that Please. is. Ignore that. Ignore that, Rob. Oh, that was. That was me. Okay. Um, okay, so. Miss. So this son of a bitch is slow. What uh, kind of creature would this be considered? This is a large plant. Okay. Aladrin. Um, sorry, just, just one second. Um, I'm going to cast Summon Monster 4. Okay. You would, wouldn't you? Christ. Yes, and? Wait a minute. Okay, I was just looking, and it looked like I, it's saying the crossbow was critical nineteen with the first hit, but no, miss that, on that the first, secondary. That first hit was actually uh, Darcy playing around. Okay, that was a longbow swing. Can can plants even be critical? No, I was just looking at at Durno's. Says attack light light crossbow crit nineteen. Oh yeah. Oh crit nineteen just is a. Just it's just. Range. I put that okay. in critical range. Okay. 
Okay, Darcy, what are you doing? Oh yeah, I told you I was casting a spell. The uh, the, uh, oh, the that's right. That's the next right. Round. So next round. Okay, Dax. Yeah. Okay. So it ran away. Didn't run away. It ran out of the range of the entangle. Why is it afraid of entangling plants? Because it doesn't want to be entangled. Okay. It's already slow enough. enough. <laughs> Probably a bitch to keep knots out of its hair. Okay, your first hit misses. <laughs> I mean, your first hit, your first shot hits. Good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, okay. There no. Oh. Shoot with the crossbow. Oh. That was close. Yeah, I, I got nothing else to do. It's probably for the best, considering whether or not it might make things more complicated when I have more abilities next level. Okay, what's popping up, Darcy? Uh, Darbor. Ooh, yes, these are fun. Um, let's see here. Do I have something for a dire boar? Yeah, don't forget this is this is uh, augmented. So, yep, I do have a dire boar token. How about that? Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a dire boar from the bestiary, uh, and then, whoops. And he, he works on your initiative, right? Yes. Okay, do you want to tell me the... Uh, first off, tell me where you what, what his enhancements are. Okay, yeah, well, it's, it's a bonus to, like, strength and con for the most part, but... Uh, so let's just run through uh, quickly. Initiative is four, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. uh, AC 15. That, no Touch way. nine, flat 15. You yeah, have him in the wrong spot for the combat tracker, Rob. No, I don't. Oh, yes, I do. I thank you. He runs off of. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, I had twenty in there for some reason. Um, okay, so yeah, that's all fine. Um, hit points are hang on here. Fifty-one. Okay. Uh, saves are Fort 9, Reflex 4, Will 2. Yep. Speed 40. Yep. Uh, melee, Gore, plus 10. Okay, this is where I need to change things. Okay. Uh, for 2d6 plus 12. Okay. Um, I don't think anything else is going to matter. Strength 27, Dex 10, Con 21, Int 2, Wiz 13. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. doesn't matter. Uh, we're not going to worry about grappling, I don't think, unless it becomes okay, important. Okay, and where do you want it to go? Uh, stay at about 40 feet in front of me towards him. Uh, outside of the range? Oh, no, it can go through there, can it? Can it can go through there. About here? Sure. That's about 40 feet. Mm-hmm. Okay, and uh, he's going to charge. Okay. How far can you go on a charge? Uh, 80 feet. Double movement. Well, he can get to, he can get right to him. Uh, 
And then attack? Yeah, just a sec. Okay, uh, yeah, so uh, do I have, I don't have control of them, so. Oh, that's right, I forgot. It's plus two, uh, and then I'll okay, oh. that's fine. <laughs> Got a 28. Yep. 2d6 plus 12, uh, that's 16 damage to him. Merchant, oops, there we go. The dire boar, natural predator of all things alive. All right, Darcy, your turn. And uh, let's see, what am I going to do? Need to mark that off. And while we're at it, we'll just magic myself. Okay. Oh, one, two, three, that's one, two, and four. So it is uh, Dax's turn, I guess. Okay. That would be two hits. Okay, hold on a minute. Oops. Okay, Derno, your turn. All right. I'm going to fire my crossbow. Oh. And not hit. And that's my turn ended. Why does the board's initiative keep changing? I don't know why it did that. It's a wily creature. <laughs> Strange. <laughs> All right. Does the shambling mound look sad? You think so? I mean, you're not really sure what it looks like it's doing. Um, I feel bad for it. Suddenly from behind the rocks in front of you, as it's large rock, comes tearing a bugbear, holding aloft a morning star and sh shrieking about dinner or something like that. You're not really sure what he's talking about. Oh dear. And he comes charging in. Uh, can up. we try and talk to him first? <laughs> no. <laughs> Comes in and wailing at uh, Derno with a morning star. Okay, I've got damage reduction too, by the way. Okay, should we... I don't know where that even factors into things. I thought I saw that somewhere, where you can actually put that in. Yeah, 
Maybe not. Oh, let's see if he hits you first. Swings his morning star. <laughs> Roll to one. Shambling Mound takes a swing at the dire boar. Tries to slam it. Hits. Four. Eh, decent amount of a decent amount of damage. Let's see if we can grab him. All right, uh, he's going to try a grapple. Who is? Uh, the Shambling Mound on the Dire Boar. So there's an automatic cut. Uh, it is a grab. free action uh, without provoking an attack of opportunity because he has it as part of his... Uh, he has grab. He has grab. Okay. Yep. Um, so the CMD of the Dire Boar is... Let me come up here. 20. Unless it's different with the enhanced. It will be. Strength is enhanced. Just find it here. It should just be too high, right? Uh, yeah, it's 22. Okay. The dire boar has been grappled. So you can assign him the grappled. Yep, that's what I'm doing right now. Next. Grappled. Okay. Next, Dire Boar is grappled. Yeah, just a second. Just double check something here. Um, but he's just gonna he's just gonna attack the shambling mound. Okay. Um, so is it minus two? Uh, yeah. T um, do a regular. Let's do a regular attack on, and let's see what uh, what happens. Whether the program will automate this. Okay. No, go ahead. Yep. Minus two. Still hits him. Yep. And it looks like the thing went down. It did 18 damage to it. Yep. Right then. No longer grappled. Okay. Uh, the the will uh, will uh, will move that way. Okay. At this point, another bugbear comes around. Same around around, around the same way. Okay. To there. Still screaming about dinner. That's all you can really catch. Uh, but it's, I haven't actually gone yet, so... Oh, right. Okay. My mistake. So, uh, yeah, he's, uh, you don't see him. There's no bugbear there. <laughs> forget, forget that. Right there. You've got one right in front of Durno smacking on him with a morning star. Let me just double check something here. Right. What's that? That's where the fireball is going. No, I'm not. I'm going to disallow that. Why? 
Why are you putting a fireball there? Because if I put it any closer, I get Derno. If I put it any farther to the right, I get the boar. That is the only logical spot I could put it. All right. That's where it was going wh anyways, Rob, one way or the other. Okay. Okay. Do you... Go ahead. That is the only logical spot I would Go put it. Go ahead. Um, hang on. Clear your targeting for the shambling mound. I did. Uh, there. Oh, crap. Hang on. Just a second, Rob. I've got to reset something here. It sounds hilarious to you. This seri very serious game we're playing sounds hilarious. He wanted to place the fireball there because he's a cheating cheater who cheats. It's very Rob, clear. Rob, where <laughs> else would I put it? <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> so, you know. I would suggest, you know, this is just me, putting it here, centered directly on the bugbear. I'm in favor of this. <laughs> what are you doing, Darcy? Sorry, I accidentally reset all my spells. I had to pick, had to set, set them up again. So, oh, suddenly Darcy doesn't have any spells left. Okay, <laughs> uh, do you have a dagger you could use? <laughs> anyway, so... Listen, the, the software doesn't lie, Darcy. If it says you don't have any spells left... <laughs> Anyways... 33, save for half. <laughs> Suck on 33, bugbear. Uh, what's the uh, DC? Uh, what is the DC on this? Hang on. Uh... Should be this right in your character sheet, shouldn't it? It should be, but it's not there. Uh, Caster level should seven. be 18. 18. 18. All right, so he. Okay. Well, you took one. You took him out, as long as well as one you didn't even know was there. Just a shriek from behind a rock. But there's still one more. Is now really the best time to emerge from cover, Bugbear? 
Whoops. Swings a Derno and misses. Um, who's here? Uh, actually, <laughs> let's try this. You can clear that uh, pointer, Mike. Yeah, I will. There, that's what it, that's what this thing yells as it comes out. I don't know whether I can read <laughs> that. Bugbear language. I can read that. Okay, I figured one of you could. <laughs> All right. Uh, what language is he yelling? He's in. He's yelling in Orcish. He yelled. Well, he yelled. You? you killed our dinner. You want to keep <laughs> shambling around? I guess. Well, we've got a we've got a huge boar here. Come on. <laughs> Take the boar. Dax, it's your turn. Okay, so a movement of four means that I can move four squares, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, yes. I get you right in there, okay. Dax, the cowardly ranger. Hang on. There, you were targeting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm gonna shoot an arrow at my shoot own face. Straight up. Both hit. <clears throat> well, that was anemic. Yikes! You've done that? much better than that in the past. Yeah. Thunk thunk. Two I arrows did. hit him, but uh, he's still. He's so Arthur, don't, for, don't forget to target the bugbear. Yeah, I was actually going to use a different ability that I was... Okay, that's to, fine, but if you target him, then but... anything you do will apply to him. But I don't think I'm going to use it anymore because he's already heavily, heavily damaged. Moderate. Right, it's just going to be... Um, actually... Trackers is oh, heavy. I'm looking at, I'm looking, is yeah, I'm looking at the wrong, I'm looking at the wrong one. The tracker just always says light or heavy, but the chat will say moderate, so I'm not sure what the thresholds are. Probably have. All right, so I'm going to use my move action to pull out my trident. Um, I guess I'm just going to drop the crossbow. Yeah, that's fair enough. And uh, take five foot step back. Well, I, I take a five foot step back. Oh, come on now. We, we, know, we know it's a string around your neck because your mommy still knits it there so you don't lose it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I, I'm going to try and attack with my trident. That's the bottom line from... Wait, actually... That works. How do I move? Do I just drag? Yeah, you can click and drag your token. Comes. You don't have to move back. The trident has reach, but you can use it any range. Really? Yeah. Okay, well... Hmm. Whatever. Alright, well, uh, I, I'd still like to stand beside the wizard anyway. So... Okay. I'm going to take a stab. Sure. Yeah, you might want to stand back. It could get a little messy there. and About... Uh, you might get hit by the spray. About 12 initiative ticks. Okay, is the, is the attack... Ha there we go. There you are. So you should be able to just click on the damage next to it, and it'll apply it. A double click? Yeah. There you go. Killed it. Cool. Well, it's dying. Should, should we take it and train it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling so charitable, I don't know why.
All right. Right then. Is that a lot of them? That's it. All right. Now the fun part. Experience. The going through, through oh, pockets is. All uh, right. So I'm going to. I'll have the boar root so the shambling mound. I'll have the boar root the shambling mound apart a bit before it vanishes. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the XP in. And what did the shambling mound learn today? Learn not to grapple an angry boar. You know what I am going to give you. I'm going to, you know what Arthur, I'm going to give you um, just to make everything a lot simpler as far as. You, a lot of bonus experience equivalent well, I'm to that. Well, I'm going to give you. Adventure. I'm going to give you bonus experience for finding that big cache of. Uh, Because that way you can all. That way, when I give you guys experience for this encounter, um, it goes to everybody, including Orion. There. All right. So bugbears other than their sort of their gear uh, apparently weren't carrying anything. Hang on a second. Uh, were they wearing stuff? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to that. Ugh, that's ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Uh, right, so... They were carrying morning stars. Um, I can't seem to find any information on other treasure. Well, that was silly. <laughs> oh. I've been saying stuff, but I had my mic muted. Mom and Dad came home, so I muted myself so that I wasn't yelling at you guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't even notice. Um, okay, I'm going to just say that within the whole group, uh, you find uh, 10 gold, 30 silver. I'm going to write this into the party sheet. So 10 gold, 30 silver, 100 coppers. So do you guys think uh, we should find out where these bugbears came from? Some small baubles that you guess are somewhere around the you know, three gold pieces. Not much. 
just some small, small little chip gems and whatnot. All right, you want to store them in a gold then? And then their crappy equipment, which nobody really wants anyways. No, it can smell as funky. So uh, anything inside the wreckage of the Shambling Mound? Um, I had the board spread it around for us. Baby mounds? <laughs> Just a second. I think I have a colander here somewhere. <laughs> Let's see. It is challenge rating is six. Actually, while you're figuring this out, I'm going to go fill up my glass of water. Okay. Be back in a minute. Bugbear had one? Yep. Oh, wait, no. In the mound? Yeah. I just had I had to set myself to the to bugbear speak. I hadn't turned that off. You're saying it in bugbear? No. Oh, the bugbear is you're speaking as the bugbear. I was speaking as the bugbear. Okay. Sorry, I was just testing out how many you can roll. Just imagine me tumbling back and forth or something. Uh, so yeah, a blue sapphire, large blue sapphire, uh, a tiger eye, and a wand. Okay. Um... I will uh, appraise the, uh, whatchamacallit, gems. Okay. The, you have a $2,000 blue sapphire. Sweet. And a 12 gold piece tiger eye. Boring. <laughs> Can you just add those to the? Uh, Maybe it's good luck. The, the items there. I guess it goes under parcel items there or something. Is that how it goes? Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna add. Okay, I'm back. Well, the sapphire was worth a lot. I just added it in under gems. Oh, okay, parcel cool. Co parcel coins, 200, 2,012 gold pieces in gems. All right, uh, do you want me to just write those down then? I'll keep yeah, you might as well. And then, yes, that, that, uh, that wand. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, what time of day is it? Um, I'm going to say it's mid-afternoon. Okay. <clears throat> Shall we, uh, you want to track these uh, bugbears back? 
I can do that. Uh, you that. see no, you see no evidence in the uh, in the river so far of any fouling. No, no evidence of what it could be. Um, yeah, it starts tomorrow, though, right? Yes. Or the seventh or the eighth? It's, it's the sixth. It's, the, day, right? it's yeah. It starts in two days' time. Okay. So yeah. Uh, does it look like the shambling mound came from anywhere significant? Um, no, it looks like it just burst up out of the earth near near nearby where it was where it was eating. What was it snacking on? Uh, just a dead animal. Nothing, you know, something just a deer. Don't know whether you don't think that it killed it. It may have died on its own natural causes or something like that. Um, but uh, the that's what the shambling now was eating. Okay, just carry it. Yes, exactly. All right, I'll. Uh, I guess. So, can we track the bugbears or not? If we can. Do we need to? Do we think they're the source of the beef fouling at all? Not everybody at once. All right, just give me a sec. Um, I think we should track it back, see if they can find anything, uh, find out what's going on. They're obviously a hazard. Yeah, and if if the shambling mounds are like livestock or something to them, well, I don't know. Uh, okay. Is there a sign of defiling or a source? I don't know. Yeah, I'm just smiling and nodding as you talk gibberish. <laughs> I rolled magic low. Man talk anyway. um, you track them for a way south, um, back along the river, the direction you came, uh, until you come across a very rudimentary uh, canoe um, pulled up onto the beach. Um, Sweet ride. In an area that you hadn't passed by originally. <laughs> you ever take it any, over any sweet jumps? Um and uh, so there's there's a couple of paddles and if in some you know food or at least what they eat uh, wrapped up inside but um, not sure I mean there it's it's not too far down but you don't know whether they they were tracking food or whether they've just been exploring or or what the, what the situation is whatever uh, is the canoe uh, usable yeah all right let's head up river okay um. You head up river. Uh, further, you go along a little further than you were before, um, but finally, the uh, because it's the the water's coming down out of the mountains, it's getting way too rough and, and too quick for uh, you to, to to head up river any further. So you can either um, right, well, let's beach the canoe and uh, keep on walking. Okay. Have we passed anywhere where it looks like uh, tracks or anything are on the beach? You know what I mean? If they came downriver, in general. Uh, tracks where they came down off the beach. Sorry, say no. That. Like I mean, as we're canoeing upriver, yeah, keeping an eye on the shore. Does it look like anywhere else that they've been? Uh, no, and and by the by the looks of things, it looks like they were coming upriver as well. Oh, okay. Um, it's been pulled up onto shore. Um, but the way it's been, the direction it's been pulled up, and the area that it's pulled up in, uh, you can make a pretty good guess that they were coming up river. Okay. Um, and the river is flowing, but not so quickly that you couldn't, with some effort, uh, row yourself up river. Um, but as I said, once you get closer to the into the hills and into, up into the mount, closer to the mountains, it just gets too fast. So uh, you continue on foot. 
um, and eventually you head you end up in an area um, where the it be, starts to become too steep and scrabbly to well I shouldn't say too steep or scrabbly but it starts to get really rough terrain. All right. Well, let's, um, let's, by let's, that let's... point it's by that point it's starting to get on in the day and it's probably getting close to a time that you might want to think about making camp. making camp. Yeah. Let's let's pull the canoe out and, and uh, hide it somewhere where we can find it. Um, make sure we get some extra water before things go south. Just in case. Yep, good idea. So if the bugbears were going upriver, maybe they were trying to figure out what's going on too. Who knows? Maybe they're not to blame. Let's see what uh, see what we find. Okay. All right, let's make camp. So do we? I guess go into the forest or something to do it, or well, we'll find some place out of sight off the river, a little bit higher. Probably be too low. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It should be easy to find some place out of the way. Yeah, yes, it's, it's not too difficult. To it's 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 hilly, so you can uh, you can find a, a sheltered area near the river right. uh, where you feel relatively safe. Um, starting a fire, if you want to. I mean, okay. Um, this evening, uh, I'm gonna identify that wand. Okay. <laughs> sure. I'm fond of fire. <laughs> Okay, it should should be show it should show up in the uh, One items. Shatter. Wand of shatter explodes in your hands, not in your mouth. Chris, are you not wanting to, to talk? Is that why you're using the chat? No. Oh, okay. Just other people were talking, so I just did okay. it in the chat. <laughs> um, do you want to uh, distribute some of these magic items? Like there's the potion of blur, blur, bull strength, invisibility, levitate, potion of resi fire resistance, spider climb, the staff of concentration, and the wand of shatter. Um, I should I should probably take the staff of concentration. I can just toss my old quarter staff. Didn't even realize we had that. Yeah. Um. Well, I I could make use of uh, either blur or bull strength or, or both, I guess. Uh, the the potions, whatever you need, whatever you need, take back bull strength or whatever. Yes. Yeah, I, I don't think we have anyone else uh, except for summons. Uh, so okay. Um, so that was the bull strength. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if we really need it, I can also memorize it. I think Cat's Grace should go to Dax. Yeah, that'd be useful. Spider climb. Um, Dax. Doesn't really that that one we can leave just in somebody's pocket, pass it around when we need it. That's that's the, that's the sort of thing you're not generally going to need right away. But, but who wants to wear the cloak of the manta ray? Um, I think oh, that one we have kind of just put aside for now, right? Does it give any uh, passive benefits? Only when you're in the water. Uh, so we have the potion of blur, invisibility, levitate, resist fires, and spider climb left. If anyone wants it, the utility stuff. Let's just leave it for now. Okay. Yeah. Who um, would blur really might be useful. Good blur might be useful fire. for somebody who does melee work. Fire resist might actually be useful for just like having somebody wade in while you <laughs> while you're already casting fireballs. Um, no, I don't, I don't recall what that staff of concentration does, Rob. Seeing as it's it gives you a. It's actually, I, I think it's actually um, a new item for this 
adventure. Where, where did we pick that up? I can't recall. Uh, from the... Where did we get that from? From the King of the Roses. Did we? I think. No, it's because I've got it listed here in uh, in my printout. It's older. Okay, just gives oh, it plus two okay. in concentration checks. Oh, we probably picked it up um, in Kimara Cove. Okay. Yeah. Plus two on concentration checks. You can add that to my... If you've given that to me... I have. You can... Uh, you can add that to... I can't seem to modify it. You should be able to add that to my concentration check uh, bonus. On your... Uh, oh, okay. I've got two identi unidentified items that are listed, Rob. On help? your inventory list, do you have the silver arrows that I have listed? No, nope. if you're on your inventory list, they won't have been on our generic list. Okay. Because I've got three silver, plus one silver arrows and two potions of cure mo moderate on me. And that's on your own, that should be on your own list. Is it on your uh, inventory in the game? Uh, I'm just going to look. Uh, no, there's an unidentified item. That's weird. It should have been. It should have been identified last time we played. Yeah, exactly. I see it there as unidentified. Okay, should be identified now. Potion of Cat's Grace. Uh, okay. Okay. You, can you remove that quarter stuff from uh, from my uh, list there, Rob? Can I do it? Hang on, I can do it. Bye, Mr. Bond. Um, I'm trying to find where concentration is. It's under the uh, if you look under my actions mm -hmm. on uh, we see where it says wizard. Yeah. Expand that with a little uh, Oh with the yeah, I see. Hey, can I Okay. No, I can do it. There you go. Got it. Yep. Done. Okay. Did we want it did we want to split the Split the cash? I thought we were just. I did. It did it automatically. That was a mistake. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Because we can put that back. It's up to you. Well, we'll just be storing it on our absentee member anyway. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, so it rains overnight. And leaves you guys miserable. You have an uneventful night, but it's cold and it's rainy, so it's tough to keep the fire going. Um, Wizard, this is you. your fault. We should be Not with his 20 survival scroll, bro. <laughs> well, doesn't matter how good is he can get a fire <laughs> started, rainy. sure. But uh, when he's asleep and it's... That was cold, a little bit too much of a fire. <laughs> <laughs> it just means it's easy to start. Doesn't mean that yeah. it's blazing unattended all night. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, right. So the next day, you guys wake up, and, or at least you sort of get going for the day, and you're miserable and stiff and just pissed off because you had such a lousy evening. Um, Can we have bring a tent? Yeah. Okay. It's still cold and rainy. I mean, the tents were not made of nylon with, you know, weatherproofing spray on them. So still, you had a miserable night. It was cold. The fire, the fire was difficult to keep going. Um, you managed to get some food, uh, but really, it was not a fun evening. Uh, we could hear so the wails of shambling mound babies in the distance, <laughs> and owl bear parents wondering where their children were. <laughs> I think we killed them. <laughs> Maybe. Grandparents. So, next day, what's the plan? Well, let's scout farther up the river and see if we can see anything before things start to happen. Yeah. Yeah, just follow the river. Are there paths, or do we have to hike through the woods? Uh, you, it's, you hike along the river. Um... It's sort of rough plains, maybe. Um, 
uh, you're getting into the hills, and you do get you do get up to a point where you really are into some mountainous uh, terrain, and there's still no evidence of what could be causing this. Nothing up river, nothing up in the mountains that you can that you can see. Okay. As we go, I'm going to keep an eye out for tracks and traps. Okay. Fair enough. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Uh, but yeah, you're traveling for quite some time up uh, as basically as far as you can comfortably get. Um, after about three or four hours of, of hiking, it's it's tiring and uh, you're getting into some fairly mountainous terrain. And following and the river is really starting to get cavernous and uh, difficult to follow. Okay. And we still haven't seen any sign of anything? No. Nothing, I mean, everything looks pretty normal. There's still bunnies and stuff like that, but yeah. I mean, anything out of the ordinary. No, nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Ah, okay. All right, I guess we can just follow it until we can't anymore. Yeah. I should be able to figure out kind of the path that the river would take anyways. Oh yeah, I mean you can you can see the path the river is taking, but you're sort of above it now. <laughs> okay, and are we on the uh, east side or the west side of the bank of the river? Uh, well, I've been imagining that you're on the west side because that's the side the Fort Thorn was on, so you would have just been traveling up that way. Okay. Are we portaging the canoe? No, we just hit it. I think that's what we, what we said, isn't it, Durs? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to say that you guys get about as far as far north without climbing gear, and you have not seen anything um, that uh, that could be evidence of what's causing the problems in the river. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's find some uh, quiet campsite where we can uh, overlook the river and hopefully find a bit of shelter as well. So it's still raining and miserable? Hang on one second, guys. Uh, okay. Have we, uh, has Arthur been explained how to uh, use modifiers? Okay, I'm back. Setting them up. The thing in the bottom left? Yep. Yep. So if you click on that and say you have a plus two modifier for something, and then just hit the two, and click on it, hit the two, and then do your roll and see it adds the plus two. And what you can do is actually put the modifier in there so like 
uh, the other day, Darcy or Jan was giving us courage. So along the bottom, so see the one, two, three. Yeah, there's a hot bar along there on the that's assigned to the F keys. So you can uh, drag modifiers down there, or even uh, attack rolls or whatever you want in there. Yeah. All right, nice. so um, you're basically at a point now where there's no, you can't go any further north. So you're just going to sit and wait. Let's find a spot where we can overlook a good portion of the river. Okay. Uh, from uh, a portion out of, from a spot out of sight with a good shelter, and we'll yeah we'll camp out there and see what we can see. Now, um, there isn't a possibility that. If this is stuff, if the water is flowing past Fort Thorn, heading south, that's right. The point of the f the befouling could happen south of your location. You're at the basically as far north as you can go. That's fine, and and it happens. We know that it happens for the whole day, right? Yes. So we should be able to make pretty good time heading south and find it. That's a good point. Yeah, um, I would say that from your location, it by with the canoe, you could probably make it down to Fort Thorn in about three hours. Okay, and we know because you're, you're, you're going you know north, it's north of Fort Thorn. So, yeah. So from this point, we can head either north or south. If we don't see any following, you then we you can't head north. Well, we'll head a little farther back south to we find a good spot where we can overlook a good portion of the river. Okay. Um, all right. Well, uh, make a to sort of speed it up a little bit. Um, the uh, the Wait, let's let the ranger do this one. Oh, sorry. Yes. You want to find us a good perch, ranger? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I tripped. I tripped on a rock and smacked my head. Right, let's try again. Wonderful idea. We will tread water. <laughs> My survival is not yeah, doing very place, well at all. This place is not much better. How about here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. You can take 20. Um, yeah, take. trust me. <laughs> Just take the damn 20. <laughs> I better take 20. Um, My lord, better out than in. That's three, uh, three out of four. You find a fairly good spot over the river, up in the hills, so you can walk, look down, look down the slope of this hill, and see a good vista of the river. Um, you have another relatively uneventful night. Uh, let's pull up my random weather generator. You have another rainy night, but at least it's warm, warmer, anyways. Um, the next, uh, the next morning. Yeah, we'll, 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 I think we want to get up bright and early. Before, yes, before uh, get up with the sun. Um, before, now, before. it's a, it's kind of tricky because you're in a valley surrounded by mountains. The sun comes up fairly late in the day because it's got to get up over the, the edge of the mountains. Um, yeah, but but the, the sky starts to lighten enough that you can go down and, and check out the river. You don't see anything out of the ordinary. Um, no difference in the color or smell uh, if anyone wants to taste it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing odd in the taste. That's right. You've got the resistant poison resistant form, anyways, don't you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's the one. Yeah. So the water's fine today. Seems to be. It's the eighth, and where you are, there doesn't seem to be any problems with it. All right. So let's start heading south. Get in the canoe. Um, start heading south. Uh, you're getting close to about a three-hour trip. Uh, the area is starting to look a little bit more familiar, and you can see some some you know uh, work fires or cooking smoke or whatever from Fort Thorn off in the distance. Um, and all three of you, give me perception rolls, please. Squeak. Squeak. I'll take your first one. Yeah, sorry. If there's an actual little button there, you don't have to double click. If you just double click, if it's just a field, you double click it. Yeah. 
Okay. Text fields, double click. If it's an icon, once it's fine. Okay. Uh, Naladrin and Dax, relatively quickly, you suddenly realize that the river is taking on a bit of a sheen um, as you uh, as you head further south. Um, okay. Maybe silvery or sort of a very light silvery sheen over the water. Time to and pull over. You, yeah, I think so. And as you travel, as you notice it, and as you sort of head a little bit further south and and find a place to pull up on the bank. Uh, you notice a, a very faint um, difference. The further south you go, the stronger it's getting. Okay. The thicker it's getting, I should say. The sheen over the water. Not quite like an oil slick, more silvery, not the sort of multicolor of an oil slick. But say that, but in grayscale. So we didn't pass anything while we were on the water that we could see? That you could see, no. What... What you did notice was that suddenly the water was had this sort of silver. All right, sheen let's to it. let's 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 head a little farther south, but quietly and. Uh, by fo on foot or by canoe? On foot. On foot. Okay. We'll south or north? Should we uh, go back to where it starts we, to happen? We've already been up there. We didn't see anything. So let's head a little farther south. It's conceivable if it's supernatural, it could go both ways. Okay. That's what I hear about the supernatural. That goes both ways. <laughs> Um, so you start heading south. You travel south maybe 100, 200 yards. Um, yeah, and, we're going to be quiet about it. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and whatever this is, is definitely getting heavier in very small increments. But as you travel south, you can definitely see that more of the sheen is, uh, more of the sheen is on the, it's on the water. It doesn't look like it's m moving necessarily with the water but it's on it's like it's almost like it's a uh, covering are there plants dipped into the water or something how is it slowly building like this so what does the water smell like um do we have any empty vials you got a, i'm sure we got a dipper or something we can scoop it out with cooking uh, pot yeah right. maybe a an empty potion bottle that you've used. So let's get a sample. It has a um, it has a strange metallic scent to it. Okay. Um, I don't have much of them. I don't really have any tools here, but. Uh, can a quick alchemy check tell me something about it? Uh, give me a give me a roll. Um, you are not familiar of what this could possibly be. Um, it's dev you definitely don't think it's safe for consumption. Um, um, detect magic on it. Okay. Hmm. So I'm going to say faint necromancy. Nice. Um, I'll have a look at the river while I'm at it. Okay. It doesn't seem to be getting any worse as you've been standing here. All right, well, let's let's keep heading farther south. You uh, you pass you pass uh, east of the fort, um, and you can see that people are down by the river, pointing and commenting at it. And they've, you know, the uh, the wagons with the barrels and the horses have pulled up and are nearby. But there's a bunch of men standing around, and they're they're talking about how. Well, it's happened again, and no way I'm dipping into this water today. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. And they're sort of standing around and see you guys approach, and they nod and you know give a small wave. Okay. Um, as you travel further south, you do notice that the um, this, this metallic scent is getting stronger. Okay. Well, let's let's push farther south then. Yep. 
Okay. Um, give me one moment. So I, this happened after it rained a couple of nights in a row too. Maybe something. Yeah, but it does. That doesn't seem to matter. It is always the eighth day of the month. It's does been it happening on the seventh and sixth. Uh, that we don't know. Hmm. So that would account for the gradual accumulation. Uh, no, we were told it was always on the same day of the month. Hang on a moment, guys. All right. Loading. Look at that. It's a widow bridge. It's something that's almost dead out of its head. Oh, uh... Did you have your spells picked for today there, Chris? Yeah, let's take care of that while I... While yeah, I just, uh, that's I, what I just thought of. Uh, did, you I just, rest, did you rest the party there, Rob? Oh, no. Should I have something other than my... Uh... Just nausea breath and suggestion ability. Bless you. Pardon me.
All right. Are you guys ready? Sure. Okay. Um, you f traveling further south to a to an area close to the to Mist Lake, um, and there's a small, you know, there's a, an old trail and a rudimentary bridge leading over the river just north of the lake, and it's clear by this point um, that whatever this f whatever is befouling the water is actually. <laughs> So it must be supernatural uh, flowing north um, against the flow of the river out of the lake. Uh, the foul and murky waters run on for miles, eventually ending at the shore of the mist lake, a body of water perpetually shrouded in steam. There, near to the bank, is an odd sight. Spectral forms rise out of the lake to do battle with an unseen foe. As the minutes pass, more and more of the ghastly f soldiers fall into, in, fall into the water, their blood creating a great stain in the water. So what you're seeing looks to be a uh, some sort of a spectral battle uh, with a group of of undead of some kind um, doing battle with an invisible foe. But as they rise as they rise up, rise up out of the water, many of them fall back in. But a few minutes later, more of them rise up out again. Okay, is their direction? Away from us or towards us? What do you mean? Well, as they rise up, are they heading towards the opposite bank or are they heading they're towards not heading, us? They're, oh, you mean are they... Which bank are they doing battle on? Yeah. Um, looks like they're doing on the, on the opposite bank. Oh, okay. Can anybody so detect invisibility here? Pardon me? Can anybody see invisible things? Um, not me. No. Oh, this is when you need the bard. It just hit this me. This is when we need proton packs to get ghost busting. Um, well, would my knowledge, uh, Arcana, sh tell me anything about this? How do you mean? What exactly we're seeing here? Uh, you're seeing a spectral battle between some kind of undead creatures and an unseen foe. And for the, somehow the, the spectral blood of these creatures is somehow um, fouling the water, which is, for whatever reason, flowing north. How many of them are there? Or is it just a constant? There's a there's a, a constant flow, but um, looks to be at any time use, four. Can I use a bardic knowledge to figure anything out? Sure, you can. All right. Well, that's what I got as the bard of my effective level. How's it working? And I take like a natural 20 on, on like a skill check, maybe it's like knowledge religion or something? I'm not sure how bard knowledge works. Um, come on, internet. Um, you add half your class level to all knowledge skill checks and make all knowledge skill checks untrained. So you add three to all your checks. And I use them untrained. Right, so could I make a knowledge religion check? Would that be applicable? Absolutely it would be. It's uh, local history might be even more important. I think you'd do both. Simultaneously? No. 
two separate rolls. So do a rant, just do a uh, and then we use the modifier thing down at the bottom to uh, add a plus add a three, put a three into your modifier window, and then roll a d twenty. And add your hand. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so that'll be just be. Oh well, in which case, what you can do is just do a, an intelligence check, but add three to the modifier box. Nice. So that was for my knowledge religion. Um, okay. Um, oh, hang on a second. Hang out thinks I'm gone. That is for your religion check. Um, your gut tells you that the best way to put these creatures at peace, if they're in some kind of ongoing continuous battle with somebody, uh, perhaps the best way to put these creatures at peace is to help them. You know, you think, well, I remember hearing a story from a cleric one day, and he was saying blah, 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 and something similar, it was a similar situation where uh, some kind of creature was, you know, having... In a perpetual battle? Yeah, and... What they did was help the creature finish the battle, and that put them at peace. Now you can also do that same thing for a history check if you'd like. That would be useful. Uh, I actually have very limited. Uh, I'm not, I don't think I can do it again. Actually, yes, you can. And I don't have the, them trained as skills. Bardic knowledge. No, but you can use them all as untrained. It's part of bardic knowledge. Oh. So just do the same thing again. Okay. Did you actually have any ranks in knowledge religion? No, I didn't. But so I, same I thought it was like a limited uses sort of thing. I don't know. Okay, so... Unless it specifically it says so. It just says as bardic knowledge as a bard of effective blinder level. Then that's fine. You can use it as much as you like. It's, it's, not, that, it's not that fancy. It's just a bonus. It's a plus three bonus to all knowledge checks, plus you can use them untrained. So. Uh, what you remember hearing, hearing from hearing people chat around the, the tavern um, is that the valley uh, was uh, the site of a major battle between the forces of Chaliax and barbarian lords years and years and years ago. Um, oh, screw off Windows. Keep saying, Windows is defending your computer's performance is slow. That Google Hangouts just asked Why don't I slow it down more and uh, tell you about it? Um, a small squad of troops, uh, Chelyat troops, were cut off from their reinforcements and backed up to the back to the lake, where the barbarians slew them to the last. Um, so obviously they're replaying this this battle where the these troops were cut off from their reinforcements and killed by bar the barbarian lords. Of course, the Chalice troops were never very nice to start with. True. Yeah, so I was just reading, Bardic Knowledge, a bard adds half his class level, minimum of one, to all knowledge skill checks and may make all knowledge skill checks untrained. Yeah. So it's just a skill. It's, so just, you, a bonus. it's just a bonus to the skill. Yeah. That's what we, that's what we, that's what we already got to. Um... But there's no limit to the number of times no, you can use no, no. it, any time, except for the amount of times you can use the regular skill. Sounds good to me. Well, uh, is, that, is that done, though? Was there another what knowledge do you mean, to, is that make, done? to make? I mean, it was just the two, right? Two checks? Yeah, the two checks. Well, the, do these undead creatures they look like they're one side or another? Uh, at this point, they just look more like um, dim shadows. So they're fighting something that they can't, that we can't see, that's over the river. Yes. Come up out of the river, 
fight, fight, fight. They all ghosts. get knocked back into the, they die and walk and fall back into the water. <laughs> Have they paid any attention to us at all? No. Let's have a, let's see if we can get a little closer and see if there's anything in the river at this point. For example, if there are bones in the river, perhaps we should just dig, dig them and bury them. Uh, so where do you want to go? How let's, far? Well, you want to get up to the bridge? Yeah, well, let's get to the let's get to the bushes there by the bridge first, and then uh, go here. Yeah. Does that make sense, guys? Yep. Quietly. Yep. Obviously. Uh, they still have not paid you any attention, so yeah, I wouldn't be too concerned. You're not really concerned about it just yet. Um, you I'm going to get... throw Detect Magic while we're here. Okay. Is there anything in the river? No. Uh, While well, you're picking up necromancy um, uh, from whatever is, you know, Befouling the river, but nothing else other than that. I mean, no magic artifact or anything like that. Nothing focused like that. Yeah, and this is why we need Claire. Yep. Shall we approach the bridge? Okay, move you guys over to where you want to go. Yeah, we might as well. Actually, before we do that, I am going to throw bolt strength on Dax or Durno. Which who goes? Well, who wants bolt strength? Durno, probably you. Probably makes more sense. Well, actually, yeah. can I take like a couple minutes to rebind to something else? Sure. Just so it'll take like two minutes. Yeah, sure. All right. So I need to make a. Binding check, uh, DC 22. Uh, I think it's my level plus my charisma, which will be. Let me. Just hold on. Can I drop the die without? Yeah. Rolling? Yep. Okay, so I don't make that check, and yeah, I've got. Big useless wings on my back now. <laughs> Alright, so now I've uh, summoned a, a mount and a warhorse um, and a lance. And I've got smite, good or evil. Okay. Well, I'm gonna throw bolt strength on you, anyways. How long does that last for? Seven minutes. So if we get into a fight, it'll be good. All right. Seven minutes? Yep. So you should be able to put a bonus on his strength there of four. Yeah, or... I've added it as an effect. Okay. All right, I'm not sure if we'll actually be riding into combat right away, but... Um... Do you want to just, uh, Arthur? Do you want to just throw a quick strength check from your character sheet? Yeah, sure. You just want to see if it applied? Yeah. Make sure I entered it properly. I did it manually. Effects plus two. There you go. Uh, yeah, but it should be plus yep. four. No, it's it's strength is four. His strength goes up by four, so his bonus goes up by two. Oh, okay. Yeah, my natural... Oh, yes, that's too. right. Yeah. Good, so it worked. All right. All right, so, so I've got my lance plan? out and everything. <laughs> I guess I've, I haven't talked in so long that Google uh, decided that I wasn't here anymore. 
<laughs> no, it's if you don't touch the screen, if you don't touch the window. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so what's the plan, guys? You're moving up to the, to the bridge. If you want to do that, just try to move, move sure. your characters to where you want them to go. Well, I'm, I'm enlarging Durno as well. And what's that going to do? Oh, my. Make him bigger. I know, I know that. I don't. The, the effects aren't even listed there, so... Just a second. Oh, do you have, like, stats for a war horse, by the way? It's just a regular horse. I think, yeah. War horse, yeah, I, I mean. Heavy war horse. So you get another plus two strength. Minus two on dex. We don't even know if I'm actually riding into a fight right now. But yeah, whatever. Maybe, I, I guess... At this point, would my you rather have it? Would you, would you rather have it or not? Maybe not at this. Darcy can moment. throw a lot of things out, out in a day. That's true. All right. So, uh, so uh, I guess I'll just uh, approach it. So, yeah, would you like to listen right. here? You get another plus two bonus on strength. Um, you have a minus mm -hmm. two penalty on dex and a minus one penalty on attack and AC. So that's a push on the strength. So actually, forget it. There's not much any. There's no benefit to you because you get a you get a penalty on attack and AC. So I only think your damage would go up a little bit, but that's it. So don't worry about it. I won't do that. Okay. okay. All right. So show me where you guys want to move. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll uh, head across the bridge. Yep. Yeah, drag. Take your character over there then. So I start crossing. Do they notice me when I'm like halfway through? No. Can you see anything in the river at this point? They seem to be coming out of the river, right, Rob? Yes. Mm -hmm. As they're being killed, they're rising back up out of the river. Come on, guys. Well, I, I'm. Can you see anything in the river? That was the question. Like a big dumb brood. I said, no. I said no. Okay, I didn't hear anything. All right. Well, go ahead and cross. I don't know what I could use here. I mean, I can cross. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. See if they're aggressive. They don't seem to care. Well, you're you're essentially right beside one. As it comes up out of the river, it walks right past you, starts doing battle with some invisible creature, and then gets hit a few times and stumbles back and falls into the water. Can you poke at the invisible Can creature I, with uh, your hand? Strike at the air where, yeah. Pardon me. Can I strike at the air where the invisible invisible creature would be? Absolutely. All right, then I'll uh, make an attack roll with my weapon. You attack the darkness? Which is not the right weapon, no. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. It'd be the same attack roll as the, the crossbow, I guess. So. All right, well, you do so, and immediately uh, where you attacked, a wraith-like barbarian appears. Excellent. And two more appear further along the riverbank. Hope we picked the right side, guys. And it's initiative. All right, then. Well, do I get to make the, the attack at least? Uh, the attack initiated combat. Yeah. Do I get to roll it? No. Because you were essentially uh, the the combat starts after you swing your basically you swing the trident at the empty air, and now combat starts. You didn't actually hit anything, so okay. there's nothing there. Oh, okay. This isn't considered forest anymore. It's plains, right? Yeah. Initiative? Hang on a second. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, 
I'll look. I will look. No, it's not. Sorry, guys. All right. Everyone's rolled initiative. Oh, Dax, that was poor. Yeah. Well, you think I played with my dice afterwards. Seems to be broken. <laughs> Better roll out the ones. On your virtual dice. <laughs> No, I'm just going to my normal real world rules. Oh, these things fly. They don't even walk, they fly. By the way, I'm, I'm wielding my lance, so it has reach. Mm -hmm. Okay, first wraith-like barbarian sweeps in towards Durno. Okay, can I make an attack of opportunity? Um, no. Oh, wait, yeah, it has reach, doesn't it? Then yes, you can. Yeah. How might I do that? Do I just roll, make an attack roll? Yep. Uh, target the target the wraith that moved in, which is the one sort of up, off, right? Yeah, that guy. And then make your attack roll. Okay. Uh, oh, you've... I don't think the trident has reach, does it? Yes. Yeah. You've been saying that yeah, all along. But I, but I, no, I've been using a lance. The lance has reach. The, the new, uh, the new vestige uh, gave me a lance, but I, I guess I'm using the trident. It doesn't matter. Use the trident. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I deal pitiful damage. It's incorporeal, so. Dang. All right. So that, that's my attack of opportunity. Okay. That's right. So this this is probably going to be a fairly juicy battle. We may not get finished, but let's we'll see how it goes. Uh, what time are you planning on cutting this short? You know what? It's it's eleven o'clock now. I'm thinking we should call it now, and we'll pick up. Yeah. Because to be honest, I think you guys are going to need the help. Um, these guys are fairly beefy and corporate. In Incorporeal undead. Um, incorporeal touch, negative energy plus d6 con drains, um, special attacks. You need all the help you can get. I picked so, the wrong vestige for this type of undead. <laughs> oh well. So, is there a way of saving th the map where we are? It should, yeah, it'll, it should save just like this. I mean, as long as I don't change anything um, in the in the midst of it. Do you guys want to do one round of combat and then call it, or because we've just started it? Let's let's call it. Okay. Yeah. We better just start clean. Yeah. Okay. Because you're gonna yeah, if we can get at least get Jan in, uh, so he can help buff, etc. Um, okay. 
Thank you. All I'm right. A little bit slower tonight, but that's fine. It's this. This is the kind of stuff I want to get through before we sit down around the table. Well, like I mean, Darcy and I have played with the with this fanny, fantasy grounds now three times. Yeah, some of it. So we're starting to get the hang, the hang of it, whereas I'm I'm slowing you down a bit. This is the first time you well, it's the first time oh, well, you played it. We went pretty slow the first time we played too. Well, then you got some wonky character that's not in the in the in the rules. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll Crazy die here and the, roll up a no magus rules, or something. No rules actually exist. And you just made them up. Cleric, cleric is what we need actually. <laughs> Let's kill him off right now. <laughs> Poof. Oh, Arthur just left. <laughs> He's like, screw you guys, I'm going home. All right. Oh, he's coming back. <laughs> I guess I just said, are you still there? Oh. Like, screw you guys. 